All right, guys, we're back. Uh, welcome back to the channel. And today we're talking a little bit about Javante Tank Davis, the 135 pound WBA champion. You guys know he's just coming off of a, a huge win over the protege of Earl the True Spence Jr. and Frank the Ghost Martin. Uh, he stopped Frank the Ghost Martin in round number eight, guys, knocked him out flat on his back. I think it was like a minute and 29 seconds into the round. Uh, a fight that was I don't I wouldn't say it was highly anticipated by casuals, but I I think a lot of hardcore boxing fans were interested in that. Being that you know Frank the Ghost Martin was a very athletic fighter, you know he was a protege of Elder True Spence Jr. So we knew who he was, and uh, Tank hadn't been in the ring since the Ryan Garcia fight uh, a, a year prior, and uh, yeah we were excited for that fight, but casuals didn't really know Frank Martin. And, but the numbers, Dan Raphael actually gave the pay-per-view numbers, and that's what I want to talk about, kind of an estimate. He says here, he reports, the Tank Martin event brought in between 325,000 to 350 pay-per-view buys. Now, this article says, which are dramatically below the 1.2 million that Javante fight, Javante's fight against Ryan Garcia hauled in last year on April 22nd in 2022. Now, I, I knew those numbers weren't going to be as good as the Ryan Garcia numbers. You, you, you got to think about it. Javante and Ryan Garcia is a fight people have been talking about for a long time. Of course, that was going to do huge pay-per-view numbers. But like I said, people don't really know who Frank the Ghost Martin is. A lot of casuals don't. So I didn't really expect the numbers to do what Ryan Garcia numbers did. I, I think people are being a little bit unrealistic about that. Uh, I think that he did pretty well for a guy that's not known that much uh, doing a pay-per-view on a brand new platform, Amazon Prime, which doesn't seem like they really promote boxing. And if you guys remember, Javante Tank Davis said, you know, the fight wasn't marketed that well. And they still did, you know, maybe up to 350,000 pay-per-view buys. So I would call that a success. I don't know about you guys, but I would call that a success in my book. And I don't understand. Here's the thing I don't understand. Why some of the boxing fans want, you know, certain fighters' pay-per-view numbers to do bad. I think it causes, I think it's a black eye on the sport when pay-per-view numbers do bad across the board. Even if it's your favorite fighter. Because that means the sport can't survive if the sport can't make money and pay the fighters. I mean, it's just that simple. I don't think, I think a lot of times, you know, fans don't think, I guess they don't have a business mindset set. You know, you, you have to generate revenue in order to survive. If you want boxing to survive as a sport, it has to make money. It has to uh, generate revenue. So you can't be out there streaming the fights and, you know, not supporting the fighters, not supporting the platforms, and, you know, and expect to get boxing matches because it eventually... It, the money's going to dry up if there's no money to be made. So I, I just, I, I can't wrap my head around why, you know, fans do that. But, you know, you, you know how some of these guys are out there. Uh, even on some of these platforms here, they want, you know, the pay-per-view numbers not to be good. I I don't understand it, but I am a fan of Tank. I do criticize Tank. I criticize every fighter, but I think he did pretty good here uh, for a guy that's been out of the ring for a while, coming on a new platform, fighting a guy that people barely know. Congratulations to Tank, by the way. And uh, we'll see what happens uh, next. Uh, Lomachenko looks like he's the next one up to bat with Tank, a fight I'm very excited about. And uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I think the pay-per-view numbers are, are, are great. So you guys let me know how you feel about it in the comments section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.